Sub-Saharan Africa's biggest planetarium was recently relaunched in Johannesburg, South Africa as a new state-of-the-art WITS Anglo-American Digital Dome after it underwent nearly five million US dollar refurbishment project. The planetarium is now a high-tech immersive auditorium with 10 digital projectors to give a full dome resolution that will transform how people will be able to experience research and science in this heritage landmark. Our correspondent Calden Ongmu reports. The Vitz Anglo-American Digital Dome, a place of infinite possibilities, will forever change how South Africans teach, research and engage with science and technology, business, sports, arts in a multidisciplinary facility. The Digital Dome offers a 360-degree immersive experience for visitors of all ages with a variety of shows for young and old. It will also serve as a modern teaching venue and a collaborative research space where scientists and students can visualize their work, be it in big data, astrophysics, the digital arts, artificial medicine, microbiology or precision medicine. The new Vitz Anglo-American Digital Dome will transform the planetarium, I think, into this high-tech research-intensive facility that will enable these future generations of aspiring South African students uh, to contribute to solving some of society's most pressing challenges. For the past 64 years, the planetarium has entertained, inspired and educated millions of visitors from Gauteng and beyond. For most, it represents their first encounter with astronomy on such a grand scale. The awe-inspiring presentations under the planetarium's dome have sparked curiosity and wonder, potentially influencing future career choices and fostering a lifelong interest in science. I think there was a school trip in 1981. I was 12 years old then. Um, they had this size projector and they displayed actually the reels of the Apollo landing or, or subsequent missions. And I think there was the rover mission as well. So uh, it really left an indelible mark on me. I am certain that myself and millions of other children who came to this uh, planetarium were one way or another touched to embark on a career in science or if not in science, but have an interest and curiosity about space and science. As part of the refurbishment, the original Zeiss projector has been replaced by 10 brand new digital projectors to render an 8K full dome resolution. Each projector has its own image generator, which is controlled by a master computer. The sound in the digital dome has also been upgraded to an 8.2 audio system. The refurbished facility includes a new digital projection and sound systems and auditorium seating with the possible future creation of a science and technology exploratorium. The Bits Anglo-American Digital Dome is currently in its pilot phase until the end of January 2025 and is expected to open its doors to broader public in February next year. The first shows to be viewed in the Digital Dome include a set of six full dome shows donated by American Museum of National History. This is Calden Olmo from Johannesburg, South Africa for We On World Is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.